Here are four edited witnessing clips from one Saturday morning at Huntington Beach. I wanted to delete all four because they were a bit discouraging. The first was a cussing Christian. The second was nothing but hard ground. And in the third, I got into a doctrinal disagreement, something I normally try and avoid. By the time I got to the fourth, I was exhausted. During that one, I had to contend with a man's friend continually butting in, most of which I removed because it caused so much confusion. In the end, I decided not to delete these because this is what can sometimes happen. I can't answer this. I, am, I actually am a Christian. I was just... Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? No. Where in the Bible does it say not all sin is equal? Yeah, hang on a minute. You're not using both sides of your mind. An atheist? Yes. Why? Because I believe in evolution. You don't have to be an atheist to believe in evolution. Well, Why would you be an atheist? I can't answer this. An atheist believes the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. Do you really believe that nothing created everything? Or do you believe there was something that made everything that just wasn't God? I don't know. You don't know? No. You're an agnostic if you don't know. <laughs> That's what agnostic means. Okay. Do you think you're a good person? Absolutely. If heaven exists, are you going to make it there? Yes. So you think you're a good person. How many lies have you told in your life? Um, I probably told 500 today. So what do you call someone who lies? A liar. Still think you're a good person? Yes. A little personal here, a bit embarrassing, but Jesus said, whoever looks with lust commits adultery in the heart. Have you ever looked with lust? Of course. We're at the beach, look. <laughs> Sex before marriage? <laughs> yes. Okay, so here's a summation. This is for you to judge yourself. Amber, you've told me you're that... You're a piece of <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, I wouldn't say that about you. That, that'd be horrible. I, I, I really care about you, Amber. Thank you. If you die in your sins and God gives you justice on Judgment Day, will you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Heaven. Why? Because he forgives us of all of our sins. Why? I don't know. He just does. God made a way for you to be forgiven. Do you know what God did? That's what I just said. He died for us. Yeah. No, you didn't say that bit, but, but you but did he say... he forgives everyone. Yeah. That's what I said. So I got to go. Give me two minutes, no, please. No, I got to go with a group of people. I do, because they're all gone. It's, I, am, I actually am a Christian. I was just being a small... Okay. No, so, so let's... No, stop. I'm sorry. You got to stop. Um, here's in and out cards for you and your buddies. Thank you. They're, they're $10 cards Thank for you. each of you. Awesome. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. meet you, Amber. You. Who's the greatest human being in history? Um, Princess Diana. So have you ever read the words of Jesus? Yeah, I did. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. In one statement, he cast aside every religion and said, I am the only way to God. Do you think he spoke the truth? No. I would argue with him if he actually said that, that there's only one way to go to heaven. I'm trying to be a good person. I don't even know if I'm a good person, but... How many lies have you told in your life? I what? don't lie anymore. When I knew what stealing meant, I stopped taken things just because I wanted them. I think wording is important here. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? No. When did you last look at pornography? I have looked at it in the past, but like I said, now that I know, I mean, one thing, but porn is different. Have you had sex before marriage? Yeah. If you face God on judgment day and he judges you by those 10 commandments, you're going to be innocent or guilty of breaking those commandments. Innocent. And the Why? reason Jesus is the only way is because he made provision for our forgiveness. No religion does that. No religion pays the fine so we can leave God's courtroom on judgment day. Only Jesus did that. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, one thing that I know is that I don't know what's going to happen. The hormones that work within, it comes with, like, in our cells. It's in our biology, DNA. So it's part of the evolution or how God created us. You've got a conscience. The word conscience means with knowledge. Con is with science is knowledge. So on Judgment Day, you're going to be without excuse because that law, that moral law, is written on your heart. You know intuitively it's wrong to steal, to lie, to fornicate, to commit adultery, to blaspheme because that conscience condemns you. It's a, it's a divine judge that God gave you that sits on the corner of your mind to tell you when you do right and wrong. And I don't think it's that serious. I think there's other serious issues we should be focusing on, you know, other than talking about, like, after life this much because we're still alive. You know, just be nice, be humble, and I feel like God, if there is God like the way you describe it, I think he'll be okay with letting us into the heaven. Do you think there's life after death? Absolutely. A heaven and a hell? Absolutely. Who goes to heaven and who goes to hell? That's the, who goes to heaven and who goes to hell? That would be 
dependent on the way that you live your life. And huh? that's Catholicism. That is Catholicism, depending on how you live your life. So what do you what do you what do you think? I believe in the teachings of God. I believe in the teachings of Jesus, and I believe that you have all to of keep this, the commandments. You have to keep the commandments, and um, there sin has no weight. There is no weight in sin. No. If you're going to tell a lie, you might as well have committed murder. Do you think all sin is the same? Yes, 100%. There's no weight in sin, just like she just said. Let me challenge you on that, because okay. if you met a judge who sentenced someone to death for murder and then sentenced someone to death for a traffic violation, you'd say, what a twisted judge that guy is. God's judgments are according to righteousness, and when you read the words of Jesus, he spoke of a greater responsibility for sin. He spoke of the cities that have rejected him, and he said they'll receive greater damnation. So God's justice will be according to righteousness. I hear what you're saying. Sin is very serious, but not all sin is equal according to the Bible. Does that make sense? Where in the Bible does it say not all sin is equal? Where Jesus spoke of the city of Chorazin receiving greater damnation because they had rejected him. The Bible speaks of levels of justice, greater damnation. Some little old lady standing before God in her sins is going to be judged differently than Jeffrey Dahmer who murdered and ate 14 young men. Can you see that different crimes? See, I don't know about that because, it, I mean, God does say that there's no weight in sin, so I... What does it say there's no weight in sin? I've never heard that. Um, I'm going to have to go back and take a look. I'm not going to sit there and swear by it. Who was the greatest person in human history? Bob Marley. I'm going to give you a clue who I think it was. He split time in two. More books have been written about him than any other person in human history. His words have been recorded in the world's biggest selling book of all time. And every year, billions of people stop work to celebrate his birth. Who am I talking about? Talking about Jesus. Have you ever read the words of Jesus? Yeah, I've read the words of Jesus. Can you think of any of them? Yes. Ask and he shall be given unto you, seek and he shall find. He said, he says, I'm going to be taken, crucified. I'm going to raise from the dead. Yeah, but it's not, it's not about who has the best message. What do you think about what the Bible says? It says, it's appointed a man wants to die, and after this, the judgment. How are you going to do on judgment day? Are you a good person? Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yeah. And what yeah. about you, Why? I don't think that matters because you have eyes. You can look at whatever you want to look at. It's my right to use my eyes to look at. I'm an observer. I'm an artist. I paint. So whatever I look at, I record. It doesn't mean it's lost. So you've never looked at a woman with lust? If a dog was looking at a woman, is a dog coming in this scene? If you want to define lust from a spectrum of just Jesus Christ, that doesn't really make sense because I'm an observer. A human being who has eyes has the right to look at whatever they want to look at. You've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, self-righteous, adulterer at heart. You're a sinner like the rest of us. So if God judges you by those Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty? I don't know. I don't think God is you. God is all... My, my view of God is love. And I don't think God is a person to condemn anybody. Don't make a graven image or a false god. Jack, I did it before I was a Christian. I made up a, I made up a god. Jack, this is so important. I made up a god in my own image, a god I felt comfortable with, but he was non-existent. He was a figment of my imagination. And the Bible calls that idolatry and says idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. There is one God. He's holy and righteous. And the Bible says he'll by no means clear the guilty. You're on death row. Your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. And if you die in your sins, you'll go to hell. The Bible promises that. That breaks my heart. I don't want you guys to end up in hell. You know, I don't hell. believe in hell. We're real. living in hell already. Yeah. Are you right-handed? I'm left-handed. Left-handed. Can you write with your right hand? I actually write with my right hand. I, I, throw, I throw with my left hand. Right. I write with my right hand. So you're ambidextrous? Yeah. yeah I'm not. My, my, my left hand's weak. My right hand is strong. Maybe that's why you're very religious. Yeah, hang on a minute. You're not using both sides of your mind. This is what Jesus said about your right hand or your best hand. If your right hand, your best hand, causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you, for it's better to enter heaven without a hand than go to hell with both your hands. So this is deadly serious, man. Enter heaven is after death. He was preaching, it was the way that he was living on earth. The point that he reached when he was on earth, and he was asking people to follow that. Not for no heaven after, but the heaven he was able to find within himself while he was on this planet. And that's what, that's what he wanted people to follow, that way of him. Jack, this will change everything Jesus for you. Well, God can legally take the death sentence off you because Jesus paid the fine in full. He can legally let you live forever as a free gift 
all because of what Jesus did on the cross through his death and resurrection. And all you have to do to find everlasting life is repent of your sins, yeah, turn yeah, from them, and, and then I'm letting him talk and put your trust in Jesus. That's all yeah, you have to do. He's provided a way for you to have everlasting life. I've, I've so, been in the church my whole life. Like, I, I grew up in Baptist Your mama Christian? My family's Christian. So they're praying for you to come to a point of repentance and faith in Jesus. I'm that day because I have respect to stand and listen. Well, that's so kind of you. I really appreciate you. You've been very humble, very honest, and I'm so grateful that you listen. Yeah, you're like every other Christian friend I have. You don't want to have a conversation with a person who's non-religious. Because there's no way in, on earth the Creator would ever think like that. Every idea of the Christianity you believe in, a man created that. Can I give you guys a book that I've written? Jack, may I give you a book, please? It's called Scientific Facts in the Bible. So maybe you could show them that book. Yeah, we'll look at it. We'll look at it and just have a conversation. You know? Thanks, man. Good to talk to you. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate y'all. Thank, Thank you. And this is what I've learned over the years. If you get bucked off one horse, be quick to get right back on to another. No matter how discouraging some witnessing sessions seem to be, keep this wonderful verse in mind. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters Podcast, the Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of the most popular gospel tracks, available at livingwaters.com. If you've never watched Homosexuals Left Speechless after hearing the gospel, you're going to love this. You can watch it right now by clicking up to your left.